Hey guys, it's Matt here, welcome to my video, and today I'm showing off our Arduino project for Group 21. So as part of my course, I actually had to create a project using an Arduino. The idea was to make a game, so I was in a group with Kara and Andrew, and we constructed something that was pretty interesting. We constructed ourselves a target shooting game, kind of like something you see at a carnival. So you've got a wheel with some targets, spins around, and the ones you see you actually go ahead and shoot. Anyway, without further ado, let's go straight into the video and I'm going to be talking a little bit more about the project. Okay, so right from the beginning, I wired up the IR receivers to the Arduino to test to make sure they worked, and then I tried to figure out the best code in order to make our design work. So when each IR is hit, it will do a different thing, so it will turn off a different LED. Once I'd figured that out, it was simply a case of just wiring up the LEDs and making the cables a little bit longer so it's easier and neater to sort of pin down onto the actual board. Kara was the one who designed the wheel, she also worked out the dimensions as well, and then she actually went ahead and laser cut it into plywood. So after Kara laser cut the wheel, she then painted the actual frame of the thing, so the actual body where the wheel would be held. So she painted it red and white, so it's kind of like a carnival theme, and it's kind of fun as well. Over at my end, I just figured out how to get the stepper motor wired in, and to get it successfully working, and Andrew helped me actually pin it down to the main board, and we got the LEDs glued in, as well as the IRs, and everything was looking quite neat. We just needed to figure out how we're going to mount the motor, and we also needed to change the code a little bit because we had some issues with the IRs where sometimes they wouldn't go off and we weren't too sure whether it was a hardware issue or whether it was actually software. So I thought it'd be a pretty good idea to wire in a buzzer as well just so it makes a noise to alert you if you've hit a target as well as the fact the LED goes out. Now before we neatened everything up we wanted to test it worked so Car got an X-Acto knife, cut a pretty precise cutout so that we could fit in the motor and once we had that done we tried to fit it in a few times, we had a few issues. One was the top, one of the targets was hitting the base of the actual body itself, which was an issue. So we had to cut another hole. Kara had to paint over the old one with masking tape and neaten it all up. So this is our second attempt at cutting out the hole. There was a few issues along the way with how it fits in because it, sometimes if the hole was too large, the actual wheel would just fall out. So we had to keep adjusting it. We did use glue and I wrapped a bit of cardboard around the motor end to keep it secured into the hole. Now, the glue, the cardboard, and the precise fit wasn't enough. The weight of the actual wheel was pulling it out of the hole, so we had to go ahead and use one of these clips. So we clipped this onto the outside. It wasn't really what we had planned. It didn't look the neatest thing, but it was the best option we had because there was real no other way of securing it. We did try a pole at the back to hold it up, but it was getting tangled up with the wires, and the best way of doing it was to use a clip at the front. It was just an easy way of securing it in, and if we had a little bit more time, we probably could have made it a little bit more prettier, but it all did work. It held together, the motor spinned, and the remote successfully put out all the targets with the sound working and the LEDs going off. So we'd pretty much done in terms of the coding, the wiring, we just had to make sure it was all nice and tidy and then it would all fit together successfully without falling apart. But once we got it together, it was pretty good and we liked it. We did have to change the lid as well because the first lid we made actually made contact with the wheel spinning Kara also cut out a little bit of cardboard, wrote on it, just sort of a last minute thing in order to make the remote not look so boring. But here's the actual thing working, the target spins round and when you see the target sticking out the top, you use the remote in order to pinpoint the center and you hit it. Once you've hit it, it makes a buzzing noise, the LED goes out and it briefly stops spinning for a split second and then it starts to continue again. So I'm pretty impressed with my group. Andrew and Kara were really helpful and they did a great job and we all got this thing working and it looks pretty good as well. So don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe and thank you so much for watching.